So people thought that was real, like 2016 to 2018. <laughs> well, I am, well, I am a much better actor than I give myself credit for. I mean, I didn't really need the validation. I mean, I knew I was good. I did that film with Jeremy Patterson um, in 2006 and 2007, like before I was mugged, but I haven't done anything since before I was mugged after work, November 30th, 2007. And I, mean, I did study at Screenwise acting for film and television and I did commercials and other short things. I, I did just some extra work for The Bet, that film that was filmed down in um, uh, The Rocks. The Rocks? Um, yeah, not The Rocks. D down near where... Um, it was where I used to go to beginner's jazz at, um, the rocks, like not far from there when, um, back in the day, oh my God, back in it. Wow. Back in the day, it was 20 years ago. Fuck. Oh my God. 20 years ago. Yeah. Back when, um, Zay and Jay, we used to call it J-Lo, um, uh, Joanne, Leon, Leon, whatever, anyway, we used to go to uh, be Beginner's Jazz. Oh, my God, hang on. That's over 20 years ago. <gasps> Fuck. Anyway, a long time ago. But so, yeah, I knew I was good, but oh, my God. Wow, people, wait, people still believe that 2016 to 2018, when I was trying to catch out the fact that I was getting monitored and surveillanced, and just catch it out so I could move forward as a, as a legal matter. They, what well, they really thought that was real. Oh my god, really? So I'm a much better actor than I gave myself credit for. Wow, that's fantastic. Oh my god, wow. Okay, so it's st seriously, people still think that was real. Um, oh my god, wow. Because I was lied about it in 2015. And, yeah, and information was twisted around to be sinister that it wasn't. And I had a gut full of never being believed or listened to. And oh, like I already said in the last, you know, messages about um, 2013 because of my mum's behaviour in 2012 and 2013. Well, not just mums, her and her sisters and so forth. Um, and then always everyone talking for me. And it's like, don't talk for me. I haven't changed and don't make up stories and don't project your vision of me. I can talk for myself, thanks. If people want to know me, then they can know me from me, not from my uncle or an auntie or anyone else for that matter. You're definitely not going to know me from my family because my family don't know me. The family members who, well, I used to have a dead, like that was I was close to. And if it's for immigration, then fuck off. Seriously, because let me tell you right now, there is so many immigrants in America and there is so many people that um, are illegal immigrants and so forth living a better life in America than I ever would have. And if people go over information to try and vet someone or want information to do with me, then get it from me, not my family. My family don't know anything about me. And I have a massive, huge stat deck and complete background of me that I've backed up with documents that was all for immigration. And if they need me to say, okay, where can we validate this? I can give you the information where to validate it. But don't ask a family member because I'm not close to my family. That's a simple fact. Well, well, look, I'm going to tell you this. That was acting. So I can validate everything I've said, including where I've lived, what I've done. Um, my family know nothing about me at all. And I'm just going to say this right now. Revenge. Do you believe that acting scene for 2016 and 2018 was real? Then imagine what I have on people, for an example, Belinda Jeffries, or when she invited Walter Kennard over to my place for her birthday. Oh, I like Walter Kennard. He was nice. He was like-minded. Um, Walter Kennard in September 2016. Guys, what I have said is the truth, not what my family says. Oh, my family are always getting up on me. Both sides will. Both sides will. Because I was only ever close to my grandparents and I don't like any family member that's alive. There isn't one family member alive that I like. Not one. I was only close to my grandparents, my great-grandmother, my great-uncle. Four family members. That's it. So there's not one family member alive that could actually valid, well, you know, 
would, I would say would know anything about me. So there. Well, so, um, and look, what I have said is the truth in even the stat deck and every statement. And every time I make a statement, I back it up with a document. Oh, look for an example. Um, all the bullshit rubbish to do with, I Christ, mum and sisters weren't even close to Big Nan, my great-grandmother. My great-grandmother, which is their grandmother, and my great-uncle friend, Leo Patrick Sayer, they weren't close. Christ, if they were close, you know what, did they ever listen? Because back in the 90s when France was um, doing nuclear testing off an island off somewhere, there was a nuclear testing island, France did it. It was on the news. We're sitting there at Kerry Road, Blacktown. Reg, Pop, Turns and Nan, Lola, and said, Lola, I wouldn't keep telling people you're French. That's what he said. Reginald George Purdy said to Lola, my grandmother, I wouldn't be keep telling people you're French. And because Nan said, yeah, she's told me she was French because of her great-grandmother. Like she knows that her father's Irish, but her mother, Big Nan, and then said, well, Big Nan, Big Nan's mother, Julia is French and Irish. So what Nan said, so how? So would Bridget Dufresne, which is Julia's mother, Bridget Dufresne was French and Matthew Joseph Ryan was Irish. And that's um, Julia's parents. And then Julia's husband was English. So your big Nan, your great grandmother, she's um, French, Irish and English. Descendant. Because her, her father's, well, her father's um, English which is Sayer, and her mother's father is Irish, but her mother's mother is French. It's true. Nano, that, I was a teenager when I knew that. You know, everything I know in my family, I can back everything, I can back up this with a document. Anyway, my family don't know, my family don't know a quarter of what I know about their own heritage and history and family stuff because they weren't close. They weren't living in and out of Big Nan, Uncle Fred, um, Reg and Lola's pocket. Basically, meaning they weren't always with them. I was. They were my closest family members. They were my bestest friends. That's why I know. There wasn't a day that went by in my life that I wasn't with them. But they all had their own... You see, being gay and single, I was always with them. Every other family member was with boyfriends or girlfriends that became wives and husbands that had children and their lives that they had to worry about. They weren't worrying about these older people. I was. I didn't. I didn't have partners or anything. I'd gay. So my focus was Nan, Lola, Pop, Reg, uh, my great grandmother, Big Nan, Mary, her brother, Uncle Fred, which is renamed Leo Patrick Sayer. That's my whole focus in my entire life. That's it. That's it. And then my parents had other marriages um, other than the ones that where we're from and then other children. So they weren't focused on their own parents or anything. They were focused on their other relationships. That's why I know so much. And I was with these people. Ah, look. So anyway, go back to the fact that you guys saw the acting from 2016 and 2018 was real. That's great. So that tells you then. Thanks, Blind the Jeffries. To, um, well, yeah, everything I have said is the truth. Oh, and about um, Stanley Fleming. Stanley Fleming, my dad's father. Yeah, he's an orphan. I've already repeated what um, his brother-in-law, Uncle George, said. So I know my whole family history. I know, except the, the only one where the ethnic is, um, which is Stanley Fleming. Stanley Fleming doesn't, he never knew his parents as far as we knew. Um, Edith Kavanagh raised him. Edith Kavanagh ra raised him in Botany Bay, the Kavanagh family in Botany Bay. Um, there's names, the street names named after them. They were a nautical pioneer family of Australia. Um, he's, so my grandfather's brother-in-law, my great uncle George, Uncle George Hill, I asked him when he was staying with me in Surrey Hills and he said, oh look, he's ethnic. Um, and he already told me the, the history of the, he said it was ethnic boys that Edith Cavani used to take in. So it'd be one of those nationalities because that's the nationalities that she took in. And he, Uncle George thought it was from the boats and and I asked Dad's older sister Sharon. She goes, oh, "I don't have the records for that, um, but the Kavanagh family might." And the, on the Australian government documents, on Australian government, it says Stanley Fleming has no country of birth, no place of birth. That's what it says. The country of birth for Stanley Fleming is unknown. It doesn't say Australia. He wasn't born in Australia. So on government documents that I have to do with my own grandfather, it doesn't say he's born in Australia. 
is that they, they don't know where he's born. So the Australian military documents say Stanley Fleming's country of birth is unknown. If he was born in Australia, but they didn't know where, who his parents were, it would have said born in Australia. Unknown parents. But it doesn't say that. On the document, it says the country he's from is unknown and the place is unknown. That's what it says for dad's father, my grandfather, Stanley Fleming, the one that looks ethnic where I get it from. Apart from that, all the other documents I have as well. For an example, my dad's mother, you know, um, well, she's born in, well, she was born in Five Dock, actually, raised in um, Abbotsford, but um, Ruby Jean Hill is born in Five Dock. Um, her father is born in Dunedin. Um, her father's parents is Southampton, London. Her father moved from Dunedin to Wallara when he was only, well, he was, he was still young, Uncle George said, which is Nan's brother, because that's why they were, um, their parents were married in Wallara, because that's where Uncle George was living. They're married in Wallara, but um, Ada Gray is from Abbotsford, which is my Nan's mother. And um, they met, and then they were married in Wallara, because that's where Frank was living. So I know all this. I know, I know all this. I know a lot of it even from sitting having hot lunches with Ruby Fleming, um, my grandmother on the Central Coast, which was living at Long Beach. There we go. But well, anyway, going back to the fact that you guys thought the acting scene was real. Uh, well, look, I'm going to say this again. Everything I've said is the truth. Oh, my entire family think they can gaslight me. Right. I've put up this my entire life with their behavior because I was always only close to the four family members. I'm not close to any other family member there is. I'll go and have coffee with Aunty Linda, dad's younger sister, and dad's other older sister, Aunty Sharon. You're not going to find any other family member I'm close to except for um, Lola, my grandmother, Lola May, um, grandfather, Reginald George Purdy, um, Mary, big nan, great-grandmother, and Uncle Fred, Leo Patrick Say, that's it. There you go. But what I have said is the truth. Everything I've said is the truth. 